Good morning. It's MacGyver coming to you from the trail with Rain Man. And true to his reputation, with pretty much a 0% chance of rain overnight, what did we wake up to this morning? You woke up to it raining at about 6 a.m., 5.45. Yeah, so we're out here on the Ozark Highlands Trail. We are doing a fast and light trip. You can see the size of the packs we've got on. And we are doing about 43 miles over the course of Saturday and Sunday. We got in late last night, hiked about a half mile in, found a spot set up. Right now we're here at this, at this river. We're about two and a quarter in. And we've got to do a, a crossing right here. The trail goes back into the woods just on the other side. So we're going to do that. Let's go. So right now we are 10 miles into the trip and we're right here at this uh, this river. The trail goes in right over there. So we've got to cross it. Uh, just look at how, how beautiful it is. It's, um, it's pretty clear. I don't know how well the video is picking up. You've got some rapids up the stream, but it's it's got a, a turquoisey hue to it that you can kind of see as it gets deeper in some areas. Um, but just a really cool, really cool spot, really cool river. Uh, it's been a nice trail. Uh, we could use a little less of the spiders and uh, a little better trail maintenance in some areas. Um, there have been some spots that if we didn't have gut hook, we wouldn't have known where the trail was, honestly. Uh, over our head with stinging nettle. And so we were just, there was a little while there that we were in some discomfort as we were walking through but feeling good knees feeling pretty good I've got the the brace on it down here and things are going well there like I said 10 miles into it and uh, things are going well it is about 10 o'clock maybe a little before 10 o'clock so we're gonna keep this thing rolling
I can touch anything on my phone. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, oh. What's up? Covered? Oh crap. So we got here, started filtering water, I looked down and I see what looks like dirt all over my leg, except it's moving. And closer inspection shows I've got hundreds and hundreds of those little freaking seed ticks all down my left leg. I had some on my right leg, I found one up on my stomach, a couple on my arms, but not many. Uh, so I just used a knife and just scraped them off. I don't know how many of them were actually embedded, how many of them were still just crawling around biting, looking for somewhere to hang out. But uh, I think I've got most of them off just sitting here hanging out in the water. But damn, I hate those things. Now I'm going to be an itchy mess for the next two weeks. I'm going to scratch them till they freaking bleed. And uh, I'm going to be sleeping on the couch because Stacy's not going to let me sleep in the bed because I'll be scratching and itching and keeping her awake. So thanks, Tix. I appreciate it. So here's the deal, guys. We are about a quarter mile past that that river that we crossed, just all uphill. And uh, I felt something, looked down, and I had another huge spot of seed ticks on my leg. Um, you can see, this is the trail. And this isn't even some of the really bad sections. We're gonna have to go back through some of the bad sections, but we've made the decision that with this many of them being on me, we're 10 miles in, we were gonna do 43, 44. Um, it just makes more sense at this point. This trail's in too bad a shape to just keep going and put ourselves through this and risk having, you know, hundreds and thousands of, of ticks all over my legs, all over rain man's legs so we're uh we're calling this and we're heading back out we got a good night in last night the trail's been fun we've been getting a good hike in we'll get a 20 mile day in today anyway um you know some days you got to make that call and i know you guys have seen uh for whatever reason these damn seed ticks love me and um Distance wise, we're not that far from Greenleaf, which is the last place I had a really, really bad tick infestation with the seed ticks, and that was just about a year ago. So, perfect. Perfect timing, huh? Alright guys, we're going to keep going. Back down, across the river, head out, and then we got some driving to do. I don't know if I can see it in here. Right down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. You can just sit on this flat rock. Kind oh, of that's cool. See those little fish right out yep. just off the. Yep. There's a great spot to fill your water in this. Yep.
So we're about 15 miles, and uh, that means we've got about five, five and a half back out from where we were. And uh, unfortunately, it's a beautiful day, and we're heading out rather than heading in. But uh, just the trail was was not very well taken care of, and. and that's not the fault of the trail maintainers. They have a season where they don't maintain it, and we happen to come out here during that season. So uh, it's kind of on, on us for our planning purposes and stuff. So, you know, maybe we reconsider for next time and we head to Colorado or Utah or New Mexico or something like that. Um, all right, probably not Utah, it's a bit of a drive, but maybe Colorado. Um, yeah, just all these, all these ticks. The spiders, the flies, the flies, the, the horse flies. Um, it's hot. It's sticky. It was hot last night. You know, we got we got to the trailhead about 10:30, hiked in about a half mile, set up, and on the way out we'll show you the spot where we set up. Uh, but we had a, a tree fall last night. Good size tree. It, it was a good sized tree, probably what foot and a half in diameter, and it, it went down pretty loud. Not too long after we got into our hammocks. And this morning, you know, the rain woke us up because we didn't have tarps up, nothing. Um, so the rain woke me up. <laughs> I got I got Rain Man up. It was about 5.45, 5.40, 5.45. And, you know, it's still dark out. And the tree that had fallen, the root system had been completely eaten away by some sort of fungus or, or a beetle or something. I don't know. But it was glowing. The entire area that was underground was glowing and I'm not talking about yeah. it was just reflecting the ambient light that it was around it was actually glowing I've never seen it before the pieces that had fallen like the little pieces when it fell that had gotten flung that you could see around were also glowing uh, so if anyone out there knows what that is let us know all right well, we're gonna take a little break right here eating something getting something to drink just kind of hanging out and relaxing for a little bit we're, uh, you know, about 16 in at this point, a few to go, and we want to enjoy while we're still out here. Yeah, yep. Little seed takes all over. Yeah. You gonna go in? So right here is where we crossed earlier today and on the other side that's where we went up in and it was just fields of nettles uh, the stinging nettles head high or higher and uh, so on the way out we just decided you know we crossed another riverbed that just had a very weak stream and so we followed it down and way down there uh, kind of where you can see the the trees jutting out the second time um, that's kind of where it joins this stream so we went ahead, followed that down, met up with this one, came up through. I'm glad we did. There were some really cool little swimming areas, some some holes that you could have definitely done some fishing. We saw some fish in there. Uh, and then we stopped here, filled up water, and we'll head out. But it, it added a little bit of distance, probably. However, it kept us out of the nettles. You can see across the, just across the pond, or the uh, little stream here, just all the staying nettles, bushes. So that's what we did. We found a way to avoid them. Nope. So here is the tree that fell last night. We were camped over here in this area, but this one fell right here. And uh, all of this, all this exposed wood right here was all glowing this morning. And then as chunks had flown off and were kind of laying around in the grass over here or in the, the leaves and stuff, those were also kind of glowing. So it was kind of Kind of neat. Anyone ever seen anything like that? Heard of anything like that? 
Let me know what it was. back here where we started last night didn't get to see this sign last night when we came in well we saw it but it was it was dark out so we didn't get any any footage of it so trip didn't go quite as planned hey that happens sometimes we made the best of it got in 21 a little over 21 miles today half mile last night so it was a good trip anyway Chris is down there he's cramping up a little bit I'm gonna go get the car going cool it off a little bit so he has a nice cool place to sit down and recover a little bit, then we're going to go drive and pick up his truck. I'll see you guys down the trail. Thanks.